Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, I'm going to explain how linked lists work, and I'm going to show you how to code a linked list in Python. Every linked list is composed of nodes. A node has two parts, data and a pointer to the next node. Now, in our example, we're just going to use for data an integer. But you could use any piece of data in a linked list you want. You could store any kind of object, a student object, or a car object, or whatever. And then a pointer to the next node. So here we have a simple linked list that consists of three nodes. It has data 5, 17, and 8. Each node you can see has a next node, except for the very last node, which doesn't have a next node. In Python, we're going to store a none pointer here in the next node. And that's going to tell us that there is no next node. In other words, that's the last node in the list. Every linked list also has a root node and the root node is the very first node in the list. So the linked list has a pointer to the root node so that it knows where to start iterating the linked list. So there are a number of node operations and list operations that we need to code. In node operations we need to be able to get next, set next given a node, get data, set data with data as a parameter, has next which gives you a boolean return either true or false if there is a next node or not. And that would basically return true for any node other than the last node. And then we're not going to code in this video, but we'll use in a future video a two-string method. And for list operations, we want to be able to get the size of a list. The size is the number of nodes in the list. We're going to keep a counter called size with the linked list. And then we're going to increment that counter each time we add a node and decrement it each time we remove a node. We'll also have a find operation so that we can find data. Given a piece of data, we'll be able to iterate through the list and find that piece of data if it exists in the list. We want to be able to add a piece of data, taking a piece of data as a parameter, and we want to be able to remove a piece of data. And then again, in this video, we're not going to code these, but in a future video, I'll show you how to print the list and how to write a sort algorithm. So here's our linked list. We want to add a 10 to this list. So what we'll do is create a new node with 10 as the data. We haven't added a next pointer yet, but what we'll do is point the next pointer for this new node to the root node. And then we'll move the root pointer to our new node. So effectively, we've added our new node at the very beginning of the list and pointed the root to the new node. That's the add operation. Remove. First we have to find. So if we want to remove a 5, for example, first we have to find the 5. Now if the one we want to remove is not in the list at all, then we could return false or none. In this case, the 5 is here. So we'll start at the root. We'll iterate through the list and look for the 5. We find it in the second node. So to remove it, we basically point the previous node's next pointer at the five nodes next. And by doing that, we basically have removed the five node from the list. Because when we iterate through the list starting from the root, we'll bypass the five node altogether. We won't even know it exists. So although the five node is still out there, it's no longer part of our linked list. So here's the linked list code. I will post this on my GitHub site so you can download the code and play around with it. First we have a node class, which extends the object class. And in that we have simple constructor, getters and setters for the next node, and getters and setters for the data value. So let's take a look at the constructor. We really are just passing in a piece of data, and optionally we can also pass in the next node. If there's no next node passed in, then it's set to none. In the get next, we're just returning self.nextNode. And same for the setter, we pass in the next node and then we set self.nextNode equals n. And the getters and setters for the data are very similar to the getters and setters for the next node. And then we have the linked list class, and it has a constructor, it has a get size, it has an add function, a remove function, and a find function. So let's take a look at each of these. The constructor, optionally, you can pass in a root node. If no root node is passed in, which is probably in most cases for a new linked list, 
then the root node will be set to none, and the size will be initialized at zero. The getSize function is just going to return self.size. The add function, we're going to pass in a piece of data. We're going to create a new node with that data using self.root as the next node. And then we're going to set our root pointer to this new node because the new node is going to become the root. And then we increment our size by one. So basically we've added this new piece of data to a new node at the very beginning of the list. The remove function is a little more complicated. So we pass in a piece of data that we want to remove. We have to either try and find that data and remove it or discover that, oh, it's not in the list, and in which case we'll either return like none or some kind of error message or something. So we'll start by saying this node equals the root node. And then we also need the previous node to delete a node. So we're going to set previous initially to none. Now we'll start a while loop so that we can iterate through the list. While this node is not none, in other words, while we're not at the end of the list, if this node's data is equal to the data we're looking for, in other words, if we find the piece of data we're looking for, then do what's inside this if statement. And if not, then we're going to increment the previous node to this node and increment this node to the next node. So what's inside this if statement? Well, let's see. If we find the piece of data we're looking for, if the previous node is not none, in other words, if we're not in the root node, then we just set the previous node's next node to this node's next node. In other words, we're going to bypass this node every time we iterate the list. And if the piece of data we were looking for is in the root node, then we'll just set the root pointer to the node after the root. We'll decrement the size by one, and we'll return true. And if we exit through this while loop without having found the piece of data we're looking for, then we return false, which means, no, we didn't find it. It's not there. We were trying to delete a value that was not in the list. Now let's look at the find function. The find function passes in a piece of data, one argument. Uh, we basically iterate through the list and see if we can find that piece of data. If so, we'll return the piece of data. And if not, we'll return false. So we're going to set this node equal to the root. And then we'll start our iteration from this node. While this node is not none, uh, check if the data is in that node. If it is, we'll return the data. Else, we're going to check if we're at the last node. In other words, get next is none. In which case, we'll return false because we've gone all the way through the list without finding the data. And if neither of those two cases happens, then we're going to iterate uh, to the next item. We're going to get the next node. And then lastly, we have some test code in our main function here. We're going to create a new linked list. We're going to add five items to it. You can see I have two nines here just uh, to test that. We're going to print the size of the list. We're going to try removing a value. We're going to print the size again. We're going to try removing a value again, print the size again, and then we're going to try and find a 25, an item that's not in the list. So let's try and run that. And what we get is uh, size is 5, and then when we delete the 8, the size becomes 4. And then when we remove the 15, we get false because the 15 is not in the list. The size is still 4. We try to find 25, and that returns false because there's no 25 in the list. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.